Welcome back to Sunday Night in America. Public safety is the number one function of government. You have the right to go about your life and your job and enjoy your community without fearing for your safety. Well, we've spoken often about the rise in crime and what has gotten us to this point. Defunding the police and closing federal prisons are among the most ridiculous ideas I have ever heard. And we have plenty of defense attorneys in this country, so we really don't need them to apply for prosecutor jobs as they have in New York and Los Angeles. The term progressive prosecutor is actually Latin for run-of-the-mill criminal defense attorney. Our justice system is reactionary. A crime occurs, it's investigated, it's indicted, it's prosecuted. The system reacts after something tragic happens. But what about preventing crime before it happens? What about having fewer victims, fewer grieving family members, fewer young people confined to prison for decades? What should be done to stop the crime before it happens? What I saw during my time in the justice system was the role drugs and alcohol play, what a lack of education does, what having no regard for life, yours or anyone else's does what the breakdown of the family does, what a lack of hope, a lack of believing there is something to strive for does. Pastor Corey Brooks saw his community hurting and he did something about it. After a funeral for a child in his church, Pastor Brooks didn't go on top of the mountain like the prophets of old. He went on top of a motel, a rundown motel in Chicago that was home to drug dealers and prostitutes. He went on top of the motel and he stayed until he raised the funds to buy that motel and turn it into a community center. The light chased away some of the darkness. Pastor Brooks formed Project Hood, which is dedicated to workforce training, violence prevention, and education programs. Project Hood serves young people and adults, but there's more that can be done. So he's not done. He's back on the roof, this time for a new community resource center. And he joins us now. Pastor Brooks, thank you for joining us. Education, hope, a job, something to live for. I mean, that's what I can think of to prevent crime. What can you think of that would reduce crime? Well, we first have to start off by making sure that we give these kids a moral compass. We have to introduce them to God at an early age. That's first and foremost. Secondly, I think the education is, is very important. It's very integral. We're going to get um, our, our young people to understand that um, if they're going to survive and live in this country, they're going to have to be educated. So the earlier we can start, the better off. Uh, statistics have suggested that the earlier we start with education, uh, like preschool education, pre-kindergarten education, the more unlikely they are to drop out. And that's important because uh, the dropout rate is one of the issues that's uh, adding to the violence, especially here in Chicago, where we have over one third of young black males who are dropping out of school and, and contributing to the violence. If all over America we could increase um, the dropout rate, decrease it by 10 percent, we would save billions of dollars as it relates to crime. You know, Pastor, I, I could not agree with you more. The uh, the correlation between how far you go in school and how likely you are to be involved in the criminal justice system is undeniable. So if I were to put you in charge of getting primarily young men to stay in school, to get to get in at least a high school or, or the equivalent or, or a trade, how would you do it? How do we get them to stay in school? No, we're already doing it. One of those things that we're doing, we have a charter school. Uh, that's focused on those individuals who are likely to drop out of school or be kicked out of school. Secondly, we're getting ready to start a private school that's focused on uh, individuals, young black males from single parent households under the poverty line. So we can start at a much earlier age. Uh, we have to get education to become an important part of, of our value system. If we're ever going to reduce the crime that we see every single day, not only in Chicago, but in all of these major cities across America, it, it's imperative. Um, that we take new efforts and start new initiatives um, to get these young people involved in education and uh, uh, get them educated to the point to where they graduate. 65% has said that uh, a lot of those who are incarcerated are high school dropouts or did not finish high school. And that's something that we have to contend with in, in America. All right, Pastor, you mentioned single parent households. Uh, some people refer to it as the breakdown of the family structure. I mean, you and I are powerless to change that. I mean, we, we, 
we got our own children, but that does not mean you can't be a father figure to someone else. Maybe you are not their biological father, but you can be a father figure. So tell us how we can help there. You know, I pride myself, uh, all, the, all the kids around the neighborhood, a lot of them call me Pops, and I appreciate that that name, that that, 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 that tag being put on me because it says that I'm, I'm speaking into their lives. And I think uh, we have to get to a place where we're becoming better mentors or we're pouring into the lives of people, especially those who don't have the, uh, the privilege of having two-parent households. Uh, Single-parent households in our neighborhoods, 80% of them um, need mentors. They need father figures especially these young boys who are committing a lot of these crimes. They grew up hostile, they grew up angry, without father figures, without mentors. We have to take the initiative. We have to become um, more important in their lives if we're ever going to detour them uh, from going toward a life of destruction. Well, Pastor, the Bible says these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. Hope must be pretty important to have made the final three. So thank you for giving hope uh, to people who desperately Need it. And thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. Absolutely. Go to projecthood.org and find out more about what we're doing. I appreciate the opportunity. Yes, sir. Keep it up. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.